Daniel, it was probably a good day to get in a kayak and do those things because the weather held up. Well, it'd be nice to get in a pool just to cool for sure. off. Just to cool off. It's sure. hot and humid, and we're seeing those humid conditions continuing tonight. And we're still going to see very hot temperatures as we go into the day tomorrow. So if you do have some outdoor plans, you'll have to keep that heat in mind as we take a live look outside. It looks nice when you just look at a picture there, but you step outside and you're hit with that humidity. So your headlines, it's going to be a hot end to the weekend. Rain chances are going to increase going into next week, and we are looking at an active tropical season right now. Things are pretty quiet now after some rainfall earlier this afternoon and evening. A few little showers starting to come to an end, but overall, we had a cold front move through, but it didn't really do too much for us as you see it diminishing there over the Gulf of Mexico. Temperatures are still pretty warm, mid to upper 70s. You do have some upper 60s up toward Nashville, but we're still sitting in the 70s to low 80s. The cool spot on the map right now is Hammond at 73 degrees. Looking at high temperatures over the next several days, we'll be in the mid 90s through Monday, and then we'll gradually start to see those temperatures go back to what it should be for this time of year at 90 degrees. And as we check out your forecast for Sunday, you see we're starting out in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. We warm into the mid 90s by the afternoon. A chance for a stray shower as we look at the forecast for overnight. You see some passing clouds into the afternoon. Lots of sunshine, so there you see the highs again, 94, 95 degrees. And then going into Monday, you start to see a few showers returning. We'll get back into our afternoon rain and storm potential, and those rain chances will start to pick up. As we see those temperatures come down a couple of degrees, we'll see a little bit more cloud cover and chances to cool off with some rainfall. As we look out into the Gulf of Mexico, for the most part, it is quiet. We do have a little thunderstorm activity toward the eastern parts near Florida. Looking out into the Caribbean, a flare up of thunderstorms near Jamaica, and a little bit of area that we're watching right here near the Dominican Republic in Haiti has a low chance for development. It's going to encounter some wind shear in a couple of days, but something to watch. As we look back out toward Africa, you got a big system right here, a lot of activity there, and another little swirl out in the eastern Atlantic. This one already labeled Invest 92L has a 90% chance for tropical development as it moves toward the northwest. And this wave, an 80% chance. So watching these, you'll see they kind of hang out in the Atlantic. They could become our next named storms. They kind of start to move off toward the north. Then we may have another one follow right behind that. So we are in the active period of the tropics right now. These don't look to be a concern for us, but we may get down the, the names pretty quickly. Paulette, Renee, and Sally are the next three names up if we do see those develop, but thankfully not really seeing anything that's going to bring us impacts as of right now. Seven day forecast showing increasing rain chances and temperatures slightly cooler as we go toward next weekend.